Hey folks, this is Raj. Welcome to the video. This is on Go Cloud, Cloud Digital Leader examination preparation and why I chose it and how was my experience, okay? First of all, this is Raj and um, you know I do currently work as a lead software engineer in the finance industry. So if you're watching my video for the first time, welcome to my channel. If you have already been there, thank you for your support. Hope you find this video also to be useful, okay? So how am I going to structure this video is a um, couple of sections. First is um, why did I chose this um, certification in particular? Second is uh, how is my exam preparation? What are the resources that I used? Third thing, how is my exam experience? Okay, so first of all, let's dive into the why first section. Why did I choose this certification? This one in particular, okay? First thing is, I think if you want to learn about any cloud provider's offerings, product services, whatever their offerings are, this, it's a great idea to register for their exam, okay, for their fundamentals exam, I mean, right? I've done and worked a little bit on AWS for a few years already, and I've learned about Azure, used some of the products, got a little bit of hands-on, got one of the certification in Azure, got two certificates in AWS, Cloud Practitioner and uh, Developer Associates. And now, so I wanted to learn about Google Cloud, right? What are their offerings? Uh, you know, why, what are their uniqueness? So that's why I chose to go ahead and uh, register myself for this, um, you know, Cloud Digital Leader exam, because I know it is a fundamental and I know I have to get an overview of all the product offerings, right? So that those are some of my top reasons. And the organization that I'm working at is also very good supportive of, um, you know, preparing for any cloud certifications, getting ourselves upskill, right? And um, there is a good support from our, um, you know, department also in terms of that. So if you are, you know, interested to learn about cloud technologies, I think fundamentals is a great way to start. And uh, you might also, get good support from your manager you know talk to them maybe they might have some resources that they can share and some organizations do have the uh, exam vouchers also right i'll share some more details about that and um, so things like that so if you are in the you know interested to learn about cloud technologies like i said google cloud is a great way to start and this fundamental course is a perfect way to start right that's about the why now let's dive into the exam preparation a little bit, right? So the main material that I've used is um, the A Cloud Guru course by Joe Loring. Okay, let me share that real quick. So this is the course I find it, and um, you know, like I said, so this course is um, you know complete walkthrough about all the Google Cloud's uh, products and services, a good overview. Right. So that's what it's needed for this course uh, for this exam. And the content by itself is about 19 to 20 hours. OK, so and then there are um, very good number of quizzes after every section. There is about eight sections. First one is introduction. So seven quizzes. And then there are uh, three practice exams. Each one has 50 um, 50 questions in each one, right? And then there are hands-on labs. The trainer, Joe Laurie, done a fantastic job diving into each, um, you know, product, services, each section, all of it, right? So I think this is a very good course if you're considering to take, but, um, but yeah. And then um, next thing is how you are taking notes, okay? I wanna share a little bit about how I took notes it's no particular way to, you know, take notes. You know, I just want to share real quick. You know, I took notes section by section, um, jotted some notes, how I can remember stuff, what is the uniqueness about a product, you know, things like that, right? Whatever is easy for you to prepare and, um, you know, make notes, okay? Next thing that I used is, um, you know, one more material that I've used is on Udemy. This course by, um, you know, Satish Vijay, this is about practice exams, okay? Because uh, those three practices that I found on A Cloud Guru, I felt like I wanted to practice more exam, more questions, right? So I always feel like preparing for any cloud certification, 
you no matter how much of the course content you go through it's all about practicing the exam um, you know practicing the tests right so that's why i wanted to take this but you know with this i was able to learn a lot more new concepts that were not covered in the eclot guru course and second thing that i felt is this is more um, you know this is more challenging more harder in compared to eclot guru questions and a lot more harder in compared to what the questions were in the real exam actually okay so if you want to challenge yourself um, you know after going through all the course material whichever course you want to go through right you can go through several i think there are courses on coursera udemy i just chose a cloud guru but after that our goal is to practice more right and then to begin with you know first thing you could do is um, you know going through the exam guide that google has put together there is um, you know exam guide there is study guides and there's also a youtube playlist that they put together gives us a good overview of um, you know what would be covered in the exam what would be tested on okay so that's a little bit about exam preparation okay now i want to share uh, more about how how was my experience actually going in for the exam right so first thing is um, to register for the exam we have to create our account on criteria okay that's the um, you know website that's the supporting um, you know i would say company for google cloud certifications once we register to open an account there is a way how you can go and register for an exam you can either choose um, you know choose one of the um, option either choose to go in person um, you know it's called remote proctored exam or you could choose to do it at home which is called online proctored exam okay i chose to go to remote um, loca- the uh, proctored exam location the real exam center because i find it useful to be i mean i find it um, better if it is at the exam center because um, you know the the internet is stable there will be resources the exam atmosphere will be there at home we want to make sure that you have a reliable internet and there is no other disturbances things like that so i don't want to take a chance and good thing is i'm in a in a bigger city like dallas where i do find a lot of exam centers around me so but if you are in a remote place where um, not a bigger city where there is not many exam centers you may it may be better for you to go with the online exam okay either way the cost of the exam is 99 so and and you know you can register from um, web assessor which is a criterion website okay and um my experience going to the center has been very good actually so the exam the center that i went to is pretty small unlike aws or azure exam uh, they didn't give me any um, you know calculator or writing pad and that's when i thought okay this this is going to be a simple exam and it was a simpler compared to other other exams okay and as you can see i completed the exam yesterday so the result is passed of course google going to send us the official result the complete uh, you know detailed report of the exam of um, you know i'm looking forward to it i didn't get it yet but here is the result so far okay and i'm going to put all these links in the description hope you find this helpful but yeah definitely feel free to reach out to me on linkedin or in the comments and if you are in the uh, process of preparation or if you got interested to prepare for the exam do share it with me in the comments and i wish you good luck for the exam okay hope you find this helpful thank you